At the same time, the Kenya Association of Manufacturers has launched a pet sector group through a cleanup exercise of pet products at Uhuru Park, Nairobi. The cleanup exercise is in line with the industry's commitment to manage solid waste in the country as a global best practice. The pet sector group has partnered with the government to kick off an advocacy and pet recycling initiative. That the issues we are talking about is about is in relation to uh, intermediate treatment and recycling. This is an aspect that we are giving a priority as a county government. We want to encourage a recycling of waste and we are promoting the three year so that at the end of the day we don't have to take all the waste for final disposal. Change in waste management is quite prevalent, not just in Kenya but actually globally. Although mitigation efforts have been put in place in other countries, the problem is exuberated in developing countries due to the high population growth and the attendant rapid and sometimes unplanned urbanization. This journey has not been smooth and culminated in plastics excise duty being imposed on plastic imports. You will agree with me that this intervention did not help much in addressing the plastic menace, and this led to the issuance of Gazette Notice number 2356 of 28th February 2017, banning the plastic carrier bags. This initiative today, the overture they made to us uh, to try and have a take-back scheme, to try and have an awareness to Kenyans that actually these pet bottles are of value. It's not trash, but it's actually cash. So what we're doing is cleaning up all the bottles, you know, here in Uhuru Park, just to begin to demonstrate the awareness. In other news